okay so yesterday we were discussing on basics of networking and ip addressing right so now once we know why we have why we are using cadr right so that is classless inter domain routing okay so we are using one minute okay so we are using classless inter domain routing okay which means so in interview they'll ask you they'll give you this cadr number for example they'll give you like 10.0.0.0 and they will tell you that this is my cadr number okay now they will ask you how many ip address we'll get so what we have to do a screen share madi one minute huh? okay so in interview they might ask that okay so yeah so are you aware of cadr that is classless inter domain routing yes then if yes then they will give you this type of cadr range as an example and they will ask you how many ip address will have because these are very very important okay or they will tell now this is the one okay now they will ask you that now this cadr we will have 65000 65500 ip addresses okay so so it will have this much these many ip addresses so they may they might ask you now how will you divide divide this big network into smaller networks because that is what we are going to learn today right so that is what we are going to learn today okay now how do we divide so again you should ask the question how many ip address should each subnet okay so that dividing the bigger network into smaller network is called as subnetting okay so what is that called subnetting okay means what dividing the big networks into smaller okay smaller networks right so now they will tell okay okay mithun so i want you to create a subnet in such a way that it should be capable of hosting 100 machines so what they will tell they will tell you create a subnet in such a way that it should be capable of having 100 machines what is happening one minute ah huh? okay so 100 machines are ec2 okay or any resources for that matter now what we will do so as we discussed yesterday in the yesterday session that ipv4 follows 32 bit and every address is of the form binary means what so why we say to, 
it will so every address will be of the form some issue with my mouse today one minute okay and every address will be of the form 2 to the power 2 to the power x okay now this x value should be so you should calculate in such a way that when you do that 2 power x it should be equal to it should be capable of storing these many machines okay clear okay so now let us calculate this okay now so ultimately we need 100 machines but we don't know the value of this x right so how will we calculate so we need to represent 100 in the power of 2 okay so now 2 power x is it is still unknown 2 to the power x it is still unknown and then equal to now what is 2 power 5 is 32 and 2 power 6 is how much so 2 to the power 6 is 64 then 2 power 7 is 128 so the so we cannot get the exact 100 value so what we will do we will say that 2 power 7 so because 2 power 7 is 128 so the value is the x the value of x is 7 so by this what we get the value of x is 7 so that means then what will be our cadr range then so the cadr range will be okay so the cadr range will be that uh, just subtract from so 32 minus 7 that will be how much 28 25 sorry okay so 25 so my cadr range will be so so as per this example so my cadr will be cidr will be 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 28 yeah. clear this everyone clear with this concept any doubts any confusion because this is very very important because after this we are going to do hands on based on this CADR value sir 28 to 25 or sir oh sorry 25 because 32 minus 5, 7 is 25, right? So that is 25. Now you calculate 32 minus uh, 25 is 7. So 2 power 7 is 128. So your each subnet value will be how much? 25. Clear? everyone clear with this okay now this let us keep this thing aside now there is one more important thing so yesterday i told you that now this is the subnet okay now 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 slash 16 is the subnet okay now i told you that yesterday that in every octet the minimum value will be zero and maximum will be 255 it cannot cross okay so you cannot have an ip address saying 256 or 300 no have you ever seen an ip address with 300 no so any ip address will not cross 255 okay so that is one part and now if i say my first subnet so subnet i don't know what issue with my mouse today
ओके सो सो माय फर्स्ट सबनेट सो माय आई विल नेम द सबनेट एज सबनेट वन एंड देन आई विल से सो टेन डॉट टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो स्लैश ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके नाउ दैट मींस आई विल हैव ओनली वन ट्वेंटी एट आई हाउ मच आई पी एड्रेस विल हैव वन ट्वेंटी एट सो माय सबनेट वन विल हैव वन ट्वेंटी एट सो माय फर्स्ट आई पी एड्रेस विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टेन यार टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो टू टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन ट्वेंटी सेवन ओके सो दिस विल सो जीरो टू वन ट्वेंटी सेवन इट विल कंप्लीट युअर वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एट आई पी एड्रेसेस ओके एंड देन सबनेट टू वॉट यू विल हैव सो सबनेट टू विल हैव फ्रॉम टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन ट्वेंटी एट टू वन ट्वेंटी एट टू टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू फाइव फाइव गेटिंग द पॉइंट क्लियर नाउ यू मे आस्क मी ओके देन टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फाइव इज मैक्सिमम देन द आई पी एड्रेस इज ओवर देन ओनली टू फिफ्टी सिक्स नो बिकॉज वंस दिस इज ओवर द थर्ड आफ्टर इट विल चेंज ओके सो फॉर सबनेट थ्री नाउ सी जस्ट अब्जर्व दिस सो फॉर सबनेट थ्री यू विल हैव द आई पी एड्रेस फ्रॉम टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट वन डॉट जीरो टू टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट वन डॉट टू फिफ्टी फाइव सेम टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स आई पी एड्रेसेस or let me make it more clear to 127 again 128 ip address and and subnet 4 will have from 10 sorry 10.0.1.128 dot 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 One twenty-eight to two fifty-five. Two ten dot zero dot one dot two fifty-five. Is it clear, everyone? So because this concept is very very important. Because without this concept, you will not be able to create a single subnet inside the VPC. That is what we are going to do the hands-on now. Everybody clear? any doubts now again this also got completed now again the third bit will change to 2 so this is how sir sir hmm yes sir uh, 255 25 or taken if this understood sir 127 has understood but subnet 2 start from 128 to 255 adhe hey to under sir see after 128 what comes sir After one twenty seven, what number comes? One twenty eight, sir. So that is what I have taken. Okay, up to two fifty five, you have taken, right? Sir. Yes. So for one, in order for the third octet to change, your IP address should have, you know, should start, you know, should start from zero, and it should end at two fifty five. You are getting it. Subnet three, you started from zero and it has been taken up to one twenty seven and one twenty eight twenty eight. No, no, I didn't take up to one twenty eight. I said it will have one twenty eight IP. Don't get confused. I said it has one twenty eight IP addresses. I didn't take one twenty until one twenty eight. Every in every subnet, it will start from zero to two fifty five only. You're getting it. see it is not me who is making these numbering and all it is these numbering is based on the binary bits 
we all discuss if the binary bits all are zero then it will be zero if all the eight binary bits is one then it will be 255 okay so that is the lowest and the highest right but in between lowest and highest there are other uh, values also right yes or no so if there, there is one so in between 0 to 255 there is 1 there is 10 there is 15 there is 25 there is uh, 36 so all this number will fall between 0 to 255 but as we have selected slash 25 so in the subnet we will have only from 0 to 127 you are getting it if you are getting confused please ask once again okay. because see uh, i yesterday i sh you know i gave you one website also like cidr.xyz now you s you put the cidr range here you will come to know now what i put here 10.0.0.0 slash 25 now see here what is the network network value i told 128 right so as per this network value it will start from 10.0.0 and it is ending from 10 to 0.0.127 0 0 but why they have not shown 127 because the last ip address we cannot use okay that will be used by our broad broadcast sorry broadcast address okay so that is why it is not showing here but if you count from 1 to 126 okay so it will be only how much 126 ip address only so but two ip address are missing but that that ip address is 0 .0, 10 .0 .0 0 0.0 10.0.0.0.0 and that last ip address is 10.0.0.127 so the first ip address will be used by the router okay and the last address is used by the broadcast ip address okay which we cannot assign to any resources inside the aws you just see you will not find any ec2 instance having the ip address 0, 0.0 it will be some other number even or odd but it will be some number okay clear so now you should be very careful while uh, doing this type of numbering o only then if you give a proper number only then you will be able to create a vpc okay now i will show you then you will understand now what is a vpc okay now vpc is abbreviated as virtual private cloud okay now yesterday I discussed, so let me duplicate this tab. Yesterday I discussed what is the address, of, now can, can anyone tell me what is the address of the internet? All zeros. Yeah, so the address of the internet is 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 slash 0. Now how many IP address it will, it will have? 32 minus 0, that will be 32 minus 0 that will be 32 itself so 2 power 32 is equal to 4.3 billion IP address how much 4.3 billion IP addresses okay but believe me even these many IP addresses are falling short so that is why what we did is okay so these we have only these many ip addresses as a public ip addresses okay now today you should know the difference between a private ip and a public ip okay right now now imagine this is your house okay So this is you and this is your sister, right? So you are inside your house. If you want to communicate to your sister, you will just talk to her in a normal way and she will also respond to you. So for this, there you don't require a mobile phone to call her, right? 
so you don't require a mobile number with a unique number and all those things right but you will have your name and you will also you will have your name so this it's so but you the what communication you are making that is local what do you mean that is local inside your house that is not going outside your house right if you want so same way happens inside vpc also okay now vpc is a what virtual private cloud okay now why it is virtual and private because the whatever the ip address is only within the aws premises okay so whatever the so now this is a subnet now this is a vpc and we create subnets inside the vpc like this 1 2 we can have many uh, you know vpc like this so we will create a vpc like this okay now so these are subnet so i created a vpc and with the four subnets so the vpc is same example i am taking 10.0.0.0/16 and each subnet will have a value of it depends actually so for uh, 10.0.0.0/25 so this only subnet one i am giving the value here okay the rest i already shown here okay so we will put accordingly now whatever the ip address is inside the vpc and the power or the connectivity will be inside the vpc only okay so i can create one more vpc okay in my account okay now imagine this is nisha's account now i can create same vpc okay i can replicate same thing whatever she has done i can do the same configuration here also same thing same conf this cdr value also i will take the same thing because it is my own private you are getting it but only difference is i can also have a same cdr 10.0.0.0/16 but what will happen if you want to talk to nisha that won't be possible via using the private ip because even though i have created a same vpc cdr my power is only within my uh, you know vpc you are getting it so and even nisha will not be able to talk to my ec2 resources because her limitation is only within her local network so our own local network so you can so if they ask you anything about the vpc you have to imagine your house okay so the power will be inside your house only you can do whatever you want in the house if you go outside the house then you will not have any such uh, what do you call that power to do anything you need some identity to talk to other people right so only then they will respond okay so if suppose then how will we talk to each uh, each other or how will you talk to the internet that is by having the public ip so each resources in ec2 you might have noticed it will have a private ip and along with that will have a pip that is public ip it will have a public ip also so this public ip will be of the form 3 dot okay it will start from 3 dot something 3 dot uh, 1 2 2 okay so like that this ip address will be there 
clear this concept so the all the resource resources will use this public ip to communicate with the internet okay so now let us get our hand dirty with the hands on okay so we'll do hands on then you will understand okay now let me uh, pick up one region okay now let me go to mumbai region okay you can change your region okay I believe everyone will have your own AWS account. So, AWS has so many regions like this: Eastern, Northern Virginia, Ohio, Northern California, Oregon. So, whichever region is closest to you. So, as I am in India, Mumbai is closest to me. So, I am selecting Mumbai. Okay, it's not mandatory to select only Mumbai. You can select whatever you want to. It is your choice ultimately. Okay. So now let us go to the VPC section. Okay, if you see now if you all uh, uh, carefully observe there will be one vpc by default which amazon creates okay when you open a new account okay so that is default but we don't use the vpc created by aws because in a production environment or in any organization we don't use the vpc created by aws what we do is we go to the vpc section and as per the client requirement so now this is what the client has required now he has given me this cidr with 65000 ip addresses and i need to create four subnets capable of each capable of storing 100 ec2 instance so that is what i have to do so i have to do this calculations and and i have to create these many subnets okay so let me show you how to create now click on create vpc okay now you can name it as production or prod vpc okay now you will give 10.0.0.0/16 okay in the ipv4 cidr okay now name is prod vpc and click on create now once you create a vpc there are some things you should consider you know you should observe whenever you create a vpc by default it creates a dhcp server now what is this dhcp server now this is the server is responsible for providing you the ip address for your ec2 instances okay so that is called dhcp dynamic host configuration protocol okay so whenever you are adding the new ec2 instances now this is responsible for giving you the ip addresses okay see here if you go inside you will come to know now this is the domain name see now this is responsible for ap dash south one Uh, south dash one dot compute dot internal. This is a Amazon provided DNS server. Okay. Now all your host name will start from this only. I will show you once I create the EC2 instead inside it. Okay. You will come to know. Right. Now up along with it, what else it will create? It will create a routing table. What it will create? Now again I will go to the VPC. i will go inside the production vpc now this we discuss now the next is the route table now this is the routing table it's create see now what are the routes there is only one route what do you mean by this it means that anyone can talk to anyone inside this network what do you mean by this so anybody whether you create 100 subnets okay 
meaning you may divide this big network means big network means how many ip address we, we have that is 65536 ip address as per this cadr range right so we have to divide that we can divide it into any 200 subnets also we can create so the meaning of the routing table is whatever the resources will be able to talk to each other so that is the meaning of this 10.0.0.0 slash 16 local target means local that's what i was trying to explain from the beginning it means you can talk to anyone local just like inside your house you can talk to anyone right and all the ip address will be starting from 10 only whatever the subnets might be it will start from 10 okay clear yes so now that is the route table and along with the routing table it creates a acl that is access control list so this is a advanced topic i will explain this in a later classes if i explain it to you now you will get confused so i am not explaining you the network acl right now okay now this is the vpc okay now let me go to the subnets okay subnets why i have to create a subnets because we cannot dump anything now i will give you one more example of a wardrobe okay now if you create a if you purchase a wardrobe will you purchase like this now this is one wardrobe okay now there is another wardrobe like this it has various compartments drawers and everything okay now which one will you buy will you buy this one or this one i want answers this is an empty uh, wardrobe you have uh, you second one yes why because everyone will go with the second option because this doesn't have any this is big of course the same size is same but it does not have a this is not the area is fully not divided in such a way to fully occupy in a efficient manner so this will not be feasible for us so we go with the because we can have so as per your requirement we can store small items here we can store big items here and vice versa so same way happens in the networking also so we don't store anything inside a vpc we create a subnet we divide the big network into logical small networks called subnets so while creating a subnet it will ask for you to select the vpc so we have to select the vpc you select it now i will name it as prod subnet dash one clear and availability zone is in mumbai we have three data centers but aws calls them availability zone so you can select any so where you want to select so now that is also again so when you are creating a network you can create a sub network in any of the availability zone so now i am selecting one a now please observe this carefully now i am giving this 10.0.0.0 slash 25 so how many i have to create 100 so create subnet now see here now see it it is given me a subnet id state is available see and see the ip addresses see how many are there 120 now you may ask me mithun you told me it will have 128 now where is the rest five addresses the five addresses as i told you the first ip address that is 0.0, .0 will be taken by the router 
okay and the last ip address will be taken by the broadcast okay and the another will be taken by the gateway and the two more will be taken by the aws they don't tell us why okay but they will take so i will give you the link you will have more information there so okay let me open that link okay and one by the i told you right there will be a dns server and the one will be taken by the dns server see here see this is the network address okay and 0.1 .1 is by the reserved by the router and 0.2 .2 is by the dns you take any one so 0.2 .2 will be by the dns and 0.3 .3 is reserved by the aws for the future reference and 0.255 .255 is a broadcast i told right broadcast address so 0 10.0.0.0 is the network address 10.0.1 is the router 10.0.0.2 is the dns server and 3 is for a future reference they don't tell us why they just tell future reference so this you have to bookmark if they ask it is there is a 50 50 chance they might ask you in the interview so you may uh, you may tell them the same thing okay clear mm, yeah so let me go inside a subnet okay so so that is why we have only 123 that is 128 minus 5 is 123 so first network so, so that is 0, 0.0 is taken by the network address 0, 0.1 is the router and 0 0.2 is the dns server and 0 0.3 is the aws feature use and 0. Dot, uh, oh sorry 0 uh, 255 is by the broadcast address right so just remember this so 0 1 2 3 4 address and 255 is fifth address so you have to remember this. so 0 1 2 3 you will not get okay now i will try to create one more subnet okay again this will create a now you may think that why it is creating one more root table no it is not creating one more root table this is the same routing table which was created when you once we created vpc okay so don't get confused that it created one more routing table no it has not created a routing table if you see this is the main route table which gets created see main it will be yes okay so once you create a vpc there will be a routing table and also there will be a acl and same width gets assigned to everyone okay so don't get confused that oh what this is creating one no no not like that so let me now let me create one more you will understand now let me create one more subnet I'll select the same VPC. Now you uh, now I will name it as broad subnet two. Okay, availability zone I will select one B. And if I give same CIDR ten dot zero dot zero dot zero slash twenty five, now it will fail. It, it it will fail or it will create. Fail. Who was that? Yes, obviously it will fail because it says the CIDR address overlaps with the existing subnet CIDR. So I need to give, so this will cover from 0.0, .0 to 127. So I should give 128 here. Only then it will create. You are getting it? So from 0 to 127 i i gave to subnet 1 
then 128 to 255 i gave to subnet 2 now if you see here also here also same thing see 123 ip addresses but here there will not be 0.0.0, .0. so the network address is 10.0.0.128 is the network address 10.0.0.129 is the router address 10.0.0.130 is the dns server and from 131 to we'll get it it will be assigned to the aws ec2 instance and the broadcast address will be 10.0.255 here it will not be for the first subnet the broadcast address will be 127 10.0.0.127 will be the broadcast address okay so don't be strict with this ip address you should think okay clear now they have given this example for slash 24 but we are taking slash 25 so you should think now tell me what will be the third subnet now again i will create a subnet prod subnet 3 i will put it as 1a now what i should give third will be change 1 yes so 10.0.1.0 slash 25 and then what will be the fourth subnet broad subnet 4 again i will select 1b 10.0.1.128 128 slash 25 Sharan Rajshekar clear ra? Yes sir Because these are very yes, very important These are very basics Yes yes sir. If this is clear only then we will be able to go ahead Okay Then after this it, uh, there will be a concept like public subnet, private subnet Then NAT gateway internet gateway and all those things okay so this is how you create a vpc and four subnets now what we have achieved so aws vpc with four subnets if I had to put it in a diagram, uh, I mean diagrammatically, so this is what we have achieved. See, now this is a VPC. So same concept. Okay, there will be three availability zone, right? So in A and B, I have not touched availability zone C because we our account will be in a free tier. So AWS doesn't allow us to use a availability that is third data center they will not allow us to touch. Okay, if you select a, uh, AZ uh, that is 1C, it, it will throw an error saying that there will not be some capacity error you will get because that is because for, for free tire we will not we are not eligible to use the availability zone C. Now what I have done is done is in the previous uh, yeah, I mean we, uh, subnet creation in A and B I have created two two subnets each clear so this is what I have created this one and this one okay so this is how now this part I will take up tomorrow like internet gateway how we connect to the internet otherwise you will get confused so all those things I will take tomorrow okay See VPC and subnet sizing. See. So I will share this link today. You just go through.
only then you will understand okay any more doubt guys sir i got different ppc create madadaga different ppc communicate madakalva sir yes that is possible so those things will come and uh, you know advanced topical barutte vpc okay, vpc so. to vpc he communicate madadu okay that is called vpc peering so that will come after your internet gateway nat gateway e entire week we are going to discuss only uh, na, uh, that is vpc with hands on nimda nimdi ee vardalli vpc mugiyutte okay now the, today we are in uh, that is second that is tuesday right so friday we are going uh, we'll be completing the entire vpc complete hands on no doubts will be there but by then you have to practice this stuff like whatever i did here i you want me to share this i will share it to you so that it will be helpful okay and this link i shared okay. already okay so that's it so we'll meet tomorrow same time that is 12:30 today due to my